What is going on guys, it's E17 and I'm back with another video and in this video I will be doing a gameplay with all seven all time spotlights and rewards. Now you guys will probably be wondering why aren't you doing them separately? Now thing is so many YouTubers have already done separate gameplays and to be honest I don't really want to just keep doing stuff you guys would have probably seen in other like on other people's channels and probably already watched so I've got these seven here these are the only seven players from the all-time spotlight sims so here are the seven players. We've got Steph Curry, Steve Smith, Richard Hamilton, Detlef Shrimp, Derek Coleman, Tony Allen, and Patrick Beverly. Now these two off of the bench are probably worst two. So I'll start from worst kind of to best. It's kind of in order of then I'd have Detlef Shrimp over Richard Hamilton but it's kind of in order going from 7th to 1st which is a point guard position but this Patrick Beverly 6 foot 1 99 offense 99 defense so immediately he's undersized at point guard decent shooting for a Patrick Beverly card although his release isn't great not much of a dunk though either Great dribbling and passing, incredible defense as you would expect, and great speed and lateral quickness. Although being six foot one, he'll struggle to defend taller point guards. Hall of Fame badges 46, 11 golds, catch and shoot, difficult shots. There's quite a few, so I won't read all of them. Volume shooter, floor general, diamond pickpocket. Range Extender, Pick Dodger, Quick Draw Hall of Fame, Clamps Hall of Fame, Interceptor, Intimidator, Off Ball Pest, Pogo Stick, Green Machine, Flexible Release, Contact Finisher, Fancy Footwork, Bail Out, Handles for Days, Quick First Step, Unpluckable, and then on Gold, Stop and Go, Post Move Lockdown, Rim Protector, Corner Specialist, and a few others. So the next card here is Tony Allen. He's six foot four two guard. So extremely undersized. Probably too short to play the two guard even. Especially small forward though. Do not play him there. So 99 offense, 99 defense. He's got great mid-range, decent free ball, great dunking, great ball handle and passing great defense as well similar to Patrick Beverly and great speed and lateral quickness so I would actually compare him to Patrick Beverly at different positions 43 Hall of Fame 17 golds he is catch and shoot quick draw dimer pick dodger flexible release clamps defensive leader interceptor intimidator Pogo stick, worm, consistent finisher, contact finisher, fancy footwork, unpluckable, handles today's quick first step, bail out on gold, green machine on gold, range extender and floor general on gold as well. So this Derek Coleman, six foot ten, so undersized fourth center. I will be playing playing him there in this video because there's no other centers in the all-time spotlight sim like out of all the rewards so great post game great shooting as well great dunking okay ball handle i guess decent passing great defense in like the post and great block Great rebounding as well. Decent speed, not great lateral quickness, although it should be fine. 44 Hall of Fame's 13 golds. Catch and shoot, corner specialist, difficult shots, pick and popper. 
Great starter, Lob City finisher, Rim Protector, Pick Dodger, Clamps, Range Extender, Quick Draw, Intimidator, Rebound Chaser, Tireless Defender, Green Machine, Back Down Punisher, Contact Finisher, Fancy Footwork, Flexible Release, Quick First Step, and then on Gold, Unpluckable, Pogo Stick, Intercepted, Defensive Leader, and Dimer, a few of badges as well. So Detlef Shrimp can play small forward and power forward. He can like be usable at either to be honest. Like there's not one position where he's just too short to play. So he's got great post game, incredible shooting, incredible dunking, great ball handle and passing. Great defense, good at everything, so good speed, good lateral quickness as well. Should be good as a 3 and D cone, 45 Hall of Fames, 19 golds, catch and shoot, corner specialist, pick and popper, acrobat, range extender, quick draw, diamond, green machine, clamps, intimidator, Flexible Release, Pogo Stick, Dead Eye, Back Down Punisher, Contact Finisher, Fancy Footwork, Unpluckable, Downhill, Quick First Step, then on Gold he has Pass Fake, Maestro, Handles Today's, Bail Out, Rebound Chaser, Hot Zone Hunter, Pump Fake, Maestro, Lob City Pass and Finisher, as well as Brick Wall, so should be decent. So next up is this Richard Hamilton. So he's a shooting guard and small forward. He's six foot six. So I don't recommend playing him at small forward. Now he's got incredible shooting, 98 for both. Great driving dunk, great ball handle and passing, great defense, especially on the perimeter. Great speed and incredible lateral quickness. Now 45 Hall of Fames, 9 golds, catch and shoot, corner specialist, difficult shots, lob city passer, range extender, pick pocket, pick dodger, quick draw clamps, interceptor, pogo stick, contact finisher, fancy footwork, giant slice, slivery finisher, Handles for days, quick first step, green machine, unpluckable, dead eye, flexible release, then on gold here, stop and go, bail out, intimidator, dimer, and floor general, as well as few other badges. But as I said, I'm not reading them all. So Steve Smith is six foot seven, can play two guard and small forward. Now he's going to be probably the best one other than the GOAT Curry. Incredible shooting, great dunking, great ball handle and passing, great defense as well, good rebounding, great speed and lateral quickness. Now 46 Hall of Fames, 11 golds, catch and shoot, corner specialist, floor general, range extender, quick draw, pick dodger, clamps, interceptor, intimidator, Pogo stick, contact finisher, fancy footwork, fast break finisher, bail out, handle sedays, quick first step, tight handles, dead eye, green machine, flexible release, in on gold, unpluckable, back down punisher, defensive leader, pickpocket, dimer, break starter, teardropper, a few other badges as well. And then this GOAT Steph Curry, he has almost every badge, he's missing two I believe, and that is actually three, Steady Shield is one of them, and then he's missing two others, not sure what the other two are though, and his stats are incredible, 99 almost everything, driving dunk, standing dunk is 97, great ball handle and passing, Great defense, as you can see, perfect with like his speed stats. So sorry if that did take a while, but now I'm going to go over all their releases, then we're going to get into a game.
So now I'm in freestyle and I'm starting off with Steph Curry's release. It is money either way with meter or without meter although online it seems to be harder to time maybe it's just from my experience but it's really nice offline and then his leaner is so fast as you can see and it's going to be hard to green although it's definitely greenable sometime i'll try green one I don't think I'll be able to but Steve Smith is next his release is really fast as well although I think it's going to be a really nice catch and shoot release his dribble moves are the crazy thing though his dribble moves are elite to be honest he's probably not going to be used for like doing quick stops although he's definitely decent enough at that and this is just a great release in general his leaner I don't know if that was his lean or not that definitely isn't it's not the greatest next up Richard Hamilton and I really do like this release it's money especially without the meat on that's just from my experience but i can green from almost everywhere with this card just an easy release two time and then his leaner that's a bit strange to be honest next up deadlift shrimp this release is money as well i think it's similar to richard hamilton's release but it's going to be a great catch and shoot release. Not sure about quick stops. Probably not. I know that wasn't quick stop, although, wow, it's lagging in freestyle. But anyway, that Lena is decent, I guess. Tony Allen's next. His release is awful, as you can see. It takes forever to time and I'm having to either time late or early. Now I'm starting to green but it's a set shot I believe. It's just awful to be honest. There's nothing good about it. And definitely not going to be good off quick stop. His lean is not even good anyway. Next up, uh, Patrick Beverly. His release is slow, although it's a bit faster than Tony Allen's. I think it's like one of the slowest point guard releases in the game, although, I mean, there's nothing great about that release, to be honest. Now, I think there's one more player, and it's this Derek Coleman. Now, it takes a while to get used to this release because... It kind of looks like it's right-handed, but it's actually left-handed. It's really confusing. Like, at first, like, you don't know if it's, like, a right-handed shot or left-handed, but I think it's going to be a decent release. Nothing spectacular, although should be great off of the catch. And he's got a decent leaner. But now I'm going to get into an unlimited game with these seven cards. This guy has Opal D Rose, Opal Gary Payton at the two, Devin Booker at the small forward, Alvin Hayes at the power forward. This team is not very good off the bench. It's a little bit better. A few decent cards, although all these cards are from locker codes, I believe. They're just not ideal to have some of those, especially Devin Booker and Alvin Hayes. Mursan is probably fine because he is a tall center. Derek Coleman is open though, and that's off. Richard Hamilton missing that one. I've actually got to try win this game. Steve Smith picks it up out of nowhere, but Steph Curry has the ball now. He's running down. 
attacking the hoop, getting that layup to go. Gary Payton missing that one, Coleman with the board, Steve Smith, I'm going to give it off to Curry, passing back, Smith is open, green light there, that release is really nice online, I haven't used it online before, now I have been using the meter off method recently and it's been going okay, Derek Coleman knocking that one down there, he needs a timeout. So Derek Coleman is open but he just doesn't want to shoot. Steph Curry is open, green light there from mid. So here Derek Coleman should be popping and that is going down there, green light once again. Derek Coleman always seems to like get stuck in bad animations although he does green that free throw there and that one so now we're only down one right now I haven't played well at all something just doesn't seem right with these servers Derek Coleman getting that and one dunk we should be able to make this free throw here yes we can so 10 points here for him so really good start Steph Curry is tired so I'm going to have to get in Patrick Beverly I think and that's the end of first quarter so Detlef Shrimp is pump faking Richard Hamilton off to Steve Smith and that is going down finally we hit a white because it is quite hard to green on inconsistent servers Smith on the move and that is going down once again I'm not greening right now and it's kind of frame skipping sometimes after I do score his release is really slow but Patrick Beverly does get that dunk there I don't want to be forcing shots up with him if he's going to like become easily contested Hamilton open green light there this Richard Hamilton's just going to be great at making shots Steve Smith he's actually under the hoop and he's getting that layup to go he's really played well so far but he wasn't Tony Allen actually greening there gold range extender not as good as Hall of Fame but I mean he doesn't have the shooting stats of these other guys. That was awful defense there. Allen in the post, green light once again. So Patrick Beverly attacking the hoop, getting that layup there. Now I'm not playing well at all right now. Hopefully though, I can get a few stops and showcase some of these other players. Tony Allen attacking the hoop, missing that layup. He is only six foot four. He does look tiny in game. Tony Allen off to Detlef Shrimp. That's a green light from mid range. That release is really nice. Patrick Beverly attacking the hoop. He's getting that layup to go. Can Derek Coleman get open off of the pick and pop? Can he actually pop? Not sure. But Beverly actually greens at there. Nice mid range and nice play there. Dean Wade with the board. Good steal there by Steve Smith. Derek Coleman gets that dunk there. Now, a lot of my plays still seem tied after that timeout. I don't know why, but I'm leaving Robert Horry open. Don't ask me why I did that. Derek Coleman actually gets open. That's a green light. Derek Coleman getting open again. Detlef Shrimp knocking down that white. I am not greening much in this game. Derek Coleman against Mo Bamba. My opponent really does like foul. So I'm going to the free throw line with this Derek Coleman who's playing very well. 17 points here Richard Hamilton's actually open that's a green light I wish it was a free although I will take that to 
gladly and good steal by Steve Smith he seems to be getting every steal and now he's going to have line it looks like my opponent may end up with a penalty that was really fast free throw release and it kind of spiked I cannot time that right now but then it's a bit more fair Steph Curry getting that layup to go though great defense Derek Coleman pulls down that board he's running really fast right now Steph Curry green light there and I'm up 10 here with this quite nice squad to be honest I don't think they're playing as bad as what some of the players on their own I like like Patrick Beverly and Tony Allen they're both like not great cards but they haven't played awfully Steph Curry is open green light once again and it looks like my opponent has left the game yes he has so now I'm going to go over the cards individually and tell you which ones are worth it and which ones aren't. So this Patrick Beverly, not worth it at all. Six foot one. He has great defense, but the defense kind of goes unnoticed when he's at height. Same with Tony Allen, undersized at two guard. Both of their releases are awful. Now this Derek Coleman, I actually don't think he's that bad. Now I haven't heard the greatest things about him, although I personally think he's worth a grind if you are looking for a power cord, although this card here, Detlef Shrimp, definitely worth grind if you need power cord or small cord. I do recommend playing him at power cord, but I'd definitely take this card here over this card although he didn't play as well as him in that video well in that gameplay like I still think Detlef Shrimp is a better card Richard Hamilton great card although he doesn't do a lot other than shoot and defend he's not really going to create his own shot However, this Steve Smith had so many steals and he's just incredible offensively and defensively, definitely worth a grind no matter who you are and if you started my team or you've got a GOAT squad like my one. Now, this Steph Curry, personally, I don't know if he's worth a grind. Depends if you have time. If you do have time, definitely do the challenges for the Steph Curry, although he's not like this game-breaking point guard because he is only six foot three, although definitely a fun card to use. But that is a video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, as well as follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. Bye.